Celeb Secrets is hanging out with Carly Scott Collins. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. I'm so excited to chat, like I said, with you because you had a pretty crazy 2022. Yeah, for sure. It was the first year I ever got to release music. So it was a good year for me. Let's start from there. And then I kind of want to like go back in time and talk about like how you even got into country music, what brought you to Nashville, all of that fun stuff. But okay. tattoos, better strangers. I mean, yeah. amazing. Oh, what thank was you. it like to, of course, release that music and kind of like get into the spotlight? Obviously, it was a, a dream come true. I had been working on all of those songs. I mean, really, I've been working on it my whole life, really. But um, even those songs I had been working on for a really long time. And so like, of course, COVID put a few things on hold. So when the time finally came that I actually got to put them out into the world, I was so excited. And then of course, for people to actually like it, you know, and listen to it and everything and hearing like how people related to them and what they meant to to everybody else was was really special so yeah i've had a great time so let's go back because correct me if i'm wrong you arrived in nashville in 2019 right right and you scored a publishing deal which is absolutely incredible what was that Thank like you. for you so i kind of like i started playing guitar when i was 11 or 12 and i kind of decided at that point that it was what I wanted to do once I started writing a little bit. Um, and so I started taking trips here when I was probably 18, just meeting people and, and writing a little bit. Um, and so I was lucky enough to find a good team to, to be around me. And um, it's been it's been really great. Yeah, I love my publisher. I think they're amazing. I'm with Warner Chapel. Um, and yeah, I've loved it. Music was always a thing you want to do. You always wanted to pursue music. You know, I kind of like, it wasn't something that I ever thought necessarily that I would do until I picked up a guitar. Just always loved it. But literally the second I picked up a guitar and figured out that you could put chords together and put your thoughts to the chords, yeah. I knew that that would be what I would do forever. That's amazing. But you had a notebook, right? Since you've been 12, uh right? Oh yeah, a for songwriting sure. notebook. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I make my notebooks myself too. I like to put like I like do the little Mod Podge thing and craft and Love put that. like artists that I like on my notebooks and yeah. That's so cool. So you're pretty creative and you do your own cover art, right? Yeah, I didn't do it for Petty, but I did it for the last three. So how do you channel that creativity? I think that I've just kind of always wanted to have my hand in every aspect of it and be and have it feel as much like me as I can in every sense of the word. So I think that painting the cover arts just kind of came naturally because, you know, I wrote the songs, I sang the songs and then, you know, painted the cover art. So it's all just hopefully people feel me and all of it. Yeah. So you make your own cover art. You write your own songs, right? right? So do you ever pull from that notebook still? I have notebooks for for years. And I mean, most for the most part now, it's kind of all like been digitized on my phone. Sure. But I mean, if I were to show you my songwriting ideas, it's literally like scrolling, 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 scrolling from like <laughs> ideas that I've written for forever. So when do you feel like most creative? Cause I've spoke to some artists and they're like, in the middle of the night, I wake up, I grab my phone and I write down yeah. a lyric or I'm in the shower, or I'm in the car. So when is that moment for you? I feel like I feel the most creative when I'm not trying to be creative always. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's kind of, you know, the same thing like in the shower in the car. But I think like a lot of times it happens when I'm, I'm gardening sometimes because my mom and I have a garden. Um, and so just like when my mind is on literally anything else, that's when I have my best ideas. Um, and also, yes, in the middle of the night, sometimes I like, I'll have like a dream or something where I'm like, you know, I hear a melody. So I wake up and like sing it really badly into my voice memos app. Let's talk about your recent single, Petty in the 80s. Yeah. It's amazing. Banger. <laughs> I've had it on repeat for so long now. So. Tell me about that. So that idea actually was my co-writer, Brock Berryhill's idea. Okay. Um, 
So we both grew up in Florida, which is where Tom Petty grew up also. Um, and like the first time that Brock and I ever wrote together, he was actually probably one of my, I think he was one of my first maybe 10 co-writes ever in Nashville. Wow. Um, and we really bonded over a mutual love of classic rock music. Um, and so when he, Josh Miller and I were writing, um, I was trying to build like a record, a live show, trying to figure out like what different kinds of songs I wanted. And I told them that I really wanted a fun and upbeat song. Yeah. And Brock's like, well, I know you like Tom Petty. So I had this idea of Petty in the eighties. And we were all like, oh my God, that's perfect. Cause of course, like, obviously I love to, to reference him because I've loved him since I was a kid. Um, and so that's kind of where it came from. So did it challenge you in any way? Yeah, because I tend to gravitate towards like slower tempoed songs that are like very emotional and you know, like I really like that kind of thing. So actually like having an upbeat song that's just like fun and easy going actually was a little bit out of my comfort zone for me, but it's actually become one of my favorite songs to play live. Could we expect an album? I'm in the studio right now recording with Dan Huff. So um, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely working on more music. I mean, that's a huge person to collaborate with. Tell me about yeah. that experience. Oh, he's awesome. He's really great. I've um, I've really enjoyed working with him. He's very, um, very, very into things being the way that the artist hears them, which I really appreciate. He says that it's really important to him that the artists that you work with have a voice and have a vision for their music. And so working with him has been really cool because he's he really wants to hear my voice and my opinions. And I love all his ideas. He's really talented. So when we've just had a lot of fun, it's been good. That's amazing. So what's your vision for this new collection? My vision for each song is different, obviously. I mean, you know, like if each song is different, so the vision changes. But the vision for the whole project, I guess, is just for people to feel honesty through the songs and um, and for them to hopefully see themselves in them. I think that like all of the songs are places that I've been or someone that I'm close to has been. And I guess my goal for the songs is for the people to be able to say like, man, I've been there and this song really gets how I feel. Mm -hmm.